So in this video, I like to share some thoughts about the possibilities of new technologies that the theory of relativity and quantum mechanics can open up in the future. But as a basis for this video, it is better to watch the video New Horizons in Physics Part 1 first. So Einstein said that imagination is more important than knowledge. And why? Because new inventions and ideas come into light through the free mind that can imagine something beyond the norms. So this video is a brief journey to stretch our imagination and explore what has already been discovered but not yet internalized or accepted due to the strong grip of scientific materialism on the scientific community which wants to explain matter by matter. Even though Einstein's theory revealed more than a hundred years ago that there is no such thing as matter but only energy and that matter is a certain form of energy captured into a certain matrix or form and energy is vital vibration. So if you feel you want to explore physics beyond scientific materialism, then this video can be useful. So scientific materialism also denies the existence of consciousness as something that is independent of matter and that is not an epiphenomenon or a product of the human brain that was put together by chance as they claim, but as an integral part of reality of everything. And that is why it is not possible to have a theory of everything because it is not incorporating everything which is consciousness. And quantum physics has already showed how the consciousness of the observer is part of the experiment. Uh, so to know more about these ideas, you can watch the video New Horizons in Physics Part 1 first. But in this video, I explore it further. So first, one possible new technology is free energy, which is receiving energy that is already there in abundance in the universe and knowing how to harness it. This energy would be available everywhere without the need for distribution points and is completely free. And scientists have already discovered a quantum field, also known as the zero-point energy field where there is energy in abundance and this was demonstrated by the Casimir effect. And it is very limited and close-minded to assume that we discovered all forms of energy in the universe because perhaps there are energies we did not discover, because it cannot be measured by using the same scientific instruments that are made of a certain vibrational energy spectrum in the physical reality we live in. And so it is very important to always be humble and open to a higher knowledge. And as there will be more full realization and internalization that matter is energy and energy is vibration, so at the deeper levels of reality, after crossing a certain boundary, there is not really subatomic particles. Instead, there are energy waves. So energy is the underlying reality of things and what in our perception and mind perceive as a particle is a kind of a standing energy wave that is not moving but still has a certain vibration. And so there is no really a wave particle duality, but it is a result of using a macroscopic concept based on the senses, such as a golf ball, and applying it to the subatomic world that cannot be detected by the senses. Uh, so when seen from an energy perspective, a new horizons can open up when the rigid particle mental image is not applied. Uh, so the distinction between dark energy and dark matter is a result of scientists not internalizing the fact that everything is energy. And so such distinction does not exist. And both are just part of the energy continuum that cannot be measured by instruments on earth that are made of certain vibrational frequencies. But such energies can pull on galaxies and be the force that cause them to move a certain way that scientists could not explain by the force of gravity alone. And perhaps one day there can be new techniques that can make this energy visible. Also, the causes of phenomena that cannot be explained can be because the cause is simply not in the same vibrational spectrum of the phenomena. And that is why the materialistic paradigm limits science so much because it wants to always assume that if a certain discovery cannot be explained by a cause in a certain vibrational spectrum that we have and can deal with, then either the discovery is unreal or one day a cause that falls into this vibrational spectrum will be found. 
Also, when one realizes that everything is energy, then one realizes that there is no limit to vibration and how high it can go. And the idea of wanting to put all material phenomena into a certain box and where one phenomena explains the other is unrealistic because what we perceive as the physical realm or material phenomena are energies of a certain vibrational spectrum and is just one part of an energy continuum and there are other spectrums and other forms of energies. So the fact that the physical material spectrum or what we call physical matter is just one part of a larger energy continuum may also be the reason why the wave particle duality has not been solved. And this is because experiments show that quantum physics really does not deal only with the non-physical spectrum, but is at the borderline between the spectrum and other realms. So looking at that level of quantum physics is like a window to these higher realms. And trying to apply concepts and images is used in the macroscopic world like the particle image or observing particles or waves with material instruments to explain the atomic structure and what is beyond it does not apply. Uh, so based on this, another possible new technology is healing through vibration, where waves of a higher vibration can be produced mechanically. Although there is a way to do it that is not mechanical, but where these higher vibrations raise lower vibrations. And another possibility is what the ancient alchemists talk about of turning metal into gold. And knowing that matter is energy waves reveals how what we perceive as matter which is only a concept based on the senses is way more pliable than previously thought. Because if matter is energy waves, then it can be possible to change one form of matter into another using vibration, as it just means changing one form of energy into another. Uh, so in the video New Horizons to Physics Part 1, I talk about how consciousness is the fundamental reality and that science will make a leap forward beyond the materialistic paradigm when it incorporates consciousness and it can be the missing link that can unify Einstein's theory of relativity and quantum physics into one united whole. And this requires leaving the materialistic paradigm behind for New Horizons to open up. So as I mentioned in the video New Horizons to Physics Part 1, consciousness is not a byproduct of brain activity. It is more than this. And the physical brain is like a computer or we can say a form of artificial intelligence. So it can learn and adapt just as artificial intelligence. But this is not the same as self-awareness. And no matter how sophisticated a computer or AI can become, it can never become self-aware. So scientific materialism denies the existence of the soul, which incorporates an aspect of the mind beyond the brain. So adapting, storing, learning and arranging data is intelligence, but it is not self-awareness. It is not consciousness. For example, many life forms adapt, but this is different than consciously adapting. So the conscious you of the soul has the ability to step outside of a certain program and consciously change it. But a computer can never change its own programming put into it by a conscious self-aware being. Neither does the human brain. Only the conscious agent or soul has the ability to change its own programming. So a computer is not conscious of itself of what it is telling you. It just deals with data of zeros and ones. But only a conscious mind gives this data meaning and transforms it into information. Quantum entanglement also proved that two particles separated by a distance are connected beyond time and space. And this is because any change in one will result in an instant change in the other, without any energy signal between them. And it is a connection in consciousness and it is instant. And so quantum physics revealed that everything is interconnected. And this shows that the reductionist approach of explaining or analyzing a system or the whole in terms of smaller and smaller constituents does not work to know the interconnected whole. Also, quantum physics showed that the outcome of an experiment cannot be predicted with ultimate certainty, but one can only predict the probabilities of a certain outcome. And this is because there is no specific outcome until the wave function collapses, which means you cannot know what will happen until the experiment happens. 
or in other words, before the observation is made, there is no manifest particle, but is just in the realm of probability, and is just a potential among other potentials. And this is in contrast to classical physics that believe the universe is deterministic and that it is enough to know the initial conditions to predict the outcome with absolute certainty, like a kind of clockwork machine. But quantum physics showed that this is not the case. And even at the microscopic scale, there is the probability that 99.9% .9 of the time, an object will not pass through the wall. But there is still the probability that at one point, it could pass through the wall. Also, it has been realized in quantum physics that the mind of the observer can influence the outcome of an experiment or the collapse of the wave function. And this can be expanded further that perhaps the manifested particle is actually pulled from another realm where it then appears into the physical plane. So, for example, in bubble chambers, there can be a state with no particles, and suddenly particles appear, collide again, and disappear. And this opened up to some scientists considering the possibility of an energy field or ground state that is beyond the physical spectrum, but that contains energy in another realm or spectrum, and in which that energy can enter the physical realm and manifest as physical matter in the form of these particles in the bubble chamber which are truly energy waves, but we perceive them as particles with our mind. And this can also explain the concept of free energy, where energy enters the material world from another realm or the quantum field, and it is free and available in abundance, in that there is no cause to generate it, and nothing need to be burned in the material energy spectrum, such as fuel, and no physical energy needs to be generated in order to harness this quantum field energy. And this can be opened up by raising our worldview and understanding, and by freeing the mind from always trying to explain everything with a cause found within the same energy vibrational spectrum that we are familiar with or by using the image of a particle such as naming the excess energy in bubble chambers as invisible particle x also freeing the mind from the reductionist mindset or denying consciousness as part of everything Also, energy entering from another realm into the material spectrum can be a possible way to explain the Big Bang and can be even more logical than assuming that all of the energy in the universe was compressed into a singularity. And this comes in line with the fact that the universe is actually expanding, which means energy is still entering the physical material realm from another realm to drive the expansion, which shows that the universe is not an isolated system, but part of a larger whole of an energy continuum. Uh, so accepting other realms and other forms of energies and frequencies is key to expanding the mind beyond the rigid confines of materialism. And this can open up for a technology that can channel the energy from the zero-point energy field into the physical where it can be used to do physical work or generate electricity. And another possibility is that the zero-point energy field could also be a factor that fuels the nuclear fusion in the sun, in addition to the pressure generated by gravity, where energy enters from this field or another realm or spectrum into the sun at its core. And perhaps we can think of it as an energy portal where energy enters the material spectrum from another realm or the quantum field. And the technology here on Earth where energy streams from the quantum field into the physical realm can be thought of as a mini portal. So there are many new discoveries in science that point beyond materialism into a higher worldview. And with increasing awareness, science can make a leap forward and be able to solve the enigmas that defy the solution. Uh, so thank you for joining me in this journey and I hope this video inspires you to go out of the box with new ideas.